down. <laughs> and good morning from Scotty Ray and Candace as we move into a Tuesday morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I know. How was your uh, your day off? It was good. I, um, you know, I just got a few things done, but, you know. So do you wash your car during January or you just let it go February and all I, this? Do you just let it get dirty? No, I, well, it needs it right now, so it looks like I just let it get dirty. But, um, no, I, I run it through the car wash. Oh, you, you don't know. hand wash anything? No, well, I mean, I have hand washed it, but why would I get out there and hand wash it when I can run it through the I'm just asking, you know, just the, asking. There's that good car wash, there's one out there, you know, up from the Coke plant. Yeah. You can go through there, and then you can use the vacuums, you know, for free, for higher long. Because, you know, I used to do the vacuum cleaners where you had to put the money in them, yeah. and you had to, like, go at warp speed trying to vacuum <laughs> before it turned off, you know. And I was just like, uh, I ain't doing that anymore. So cost you, yeah. like, $10 just to vacuum your car in mean, those little quarter things. <laughs> I know. I'd be, like, constantly. Yeah, it runs out quick. But anyway, it needs it right now, but... Good morning to uh, J- uh, Miss Joyce Godwin. She's watching this morning. Also, Big Daddy's Farm Fresh Produce is back this morning. Yes, Get out of here. Good morning to y'all. Also, uh, Brian McCary is up in Adam. Morning to you as well. Yes. Uh, as we begin, you wanted to point out about, uh, and I guess Facebook does updates every so often, uh-huh. and sometimes it throws things off. Yes, I've had several of my clients and friends who have said um, that they're not getting the notifications when the show goes live. So shoot us a like shoot us a message or something if you're not getting notifications. We'd like to know that. Yeah, go back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll have to go back up to the settings at the top of the page on your page to mm-hmm. make it work. Right. But I would imagine when they do these updates, sometimes it erases all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it could. You know, I know I, I, my format of my Facebook sometimes is different when I go on it. Yeah, know, it they change. Too, so. Anyway. Now let's address a few of the questions about the weather, what's coming, what to expect. Now again, this is where. We're expecting the ice late Thursday night into Friday morning. It's going to be the northern part of the state. Greenwood up here in the Delta is what they're thinking. Now, it's Mother Nature. Uh Anything can happen. It could change. But at this point, that's what we're looking at, that we would not get that. We'll just get brutal cold temperatures uh, as it comes in over the weekend. This is going to be Saturday night, Sunday night, and into Monday. Uh, We're looking at 20. You get down to into these... um, Possibly Wind, even in the teens, right, yeah. at, at some point. Wind chills, uh-huh. 9, 10 degrees, that is horrible. I pointed out this morning up in Montana, they have a negative 55 wind chill. Can you imagine being in that? Uh-uh. I, I would not want to be in that cold of temperatures. We can't handle this. But, now, this is yeah. where you need to really, really pay attention to your pets and people in your neighborhood, elderly. Make sure you have propane, firewood. Right. Hey, whatever it takes to make sure everybody's protected for what's coming. Yeah, go ahead if you can, like, today, mm-hmm. you know, as, because I don't know when we're supposed to start getting rain, you know, because you can't get out in the rain and do all this stuff, you know, very well. So if you need to get out there and put hay in your dog houses or bring them in when it gets cold, that would right. be the best thing if you can get them inside. But, um Wrapping pipes. If you don't have pipes wrapped and it gets down close to the teens. It's bad. Yeah. You're going to have some busted pipes. And also, like in our shop, we have a a bathroom down there. And I always keep the door. I have central heat and air down there. So, I mean, we turn it down to real low. But if you don't, if you have like a little, I mean, even a little space heater. Standalone. A little space heater or something. Just open the bathroom door. Put it, you know, to where it can heat. Because toilets will bust, too. Now, as they a kid, will. we used to you know, just crack the water faucet where it would drip a little bit okay. to keep the water running. Is that bad? Well, I did that. And what happened to your house? Um, and when they did my shop, they did the sink pipes um, and the shower, because there's, there's a little a full bath down there, too. But they did the shower pipe. All the sinks in the shower ran into the same pipe or something. And it was just like just the pipe that was outside. I don't know. It just because it's just water. I mean, it's not any sewage or anything like that. So... It just ran, like, out into this little ditch thing. Well, <laughs> I left the, the water spigot. It froze back up. It froze on the end, and it backed the water up. I come into my shop flooded. But if you happen to have a septic tank, it would work. I have a septic tank. But that didn't run into it. That was just like a No, that, my, the toilet goes into the septic tank. So right. Like, yeah, but this was just the sinks. You know? Right. Yeah, I can see they how put, that could they, happen. When they did it, they just put it on a little thing that just, you know, it was just out in, like, this little ditch thing so but it ba- it froze on the end because it was so cold and it backed the water up. I, and i just left it dripping but yeah you do in the house 
you know, if you're yeah. in a house, you it would leave work. it dripping. Yeah. And we have rain moving in tomorrow night, uh, after one o'clock tomorrow, and then we've got a ninety percent chance on Thursday, and then ninety percent Thursday night, sixty mm-hmm. percent Friday. Did I mention thirty percent on Friday? Yeah. And then Goodness. it's just cold over the weekend as we look at that. Mm-hmm. So uh, we do have some extreme temperatures coming our way. So keep that in mind uh, as we head toward this, because we want you to be safe and into as best we can be. Mm-hmm. Good. Do you pronounce that uh, Nadmeyer? Is that how you pronounce that? I think so. Good morning to Dickie Nadmeyer. Good morning. Rachel Garrison, good morning to you. Yeah, I hope you're doing good as well. Well, as we begin today and we start uh, seeing what, what's going on, and it's always something interesting, let's, let's start with a few of the news stories that are popping up, if I can figure out where I put it there. Aha. Uh, you know, I remember talk about, you know, who would decide an election if it was tied. Uh-huh. Well, it actually did happen one time. It was 1825 with a house had to decide the presidential election. Mm-hmm. It was between John Quincy Adams and Andrew Jackson, and they chose John Quincy Adams a few years later. Uh, uh, Andrew Jackson would run and win mm-hmm. with no problems, but it has happened before. He was yeah. not a handsome fellow, was he? Mm-mm. <laughs> he embraced the, embraced the baldness, I think. Yes, they did. They probably wouldn't have put him on the cover of GQ. <laughs> This old boy was supposed to have been like it on a stick to women back in the day. Mm-hmm. He was flamboyant is everything I've ever read. But uh, Custer mm-hmm. uh, got married on this date back in 1864, and she went on to uh, make his memory of what it is today. So how long do you give it before they start erasing Custer from history? I, I, I just think it's all ridiculous. I mean, I don't see the whole point. Well, they're doing it. I mean, you're not, you know, because if you're like me, I mean, I don't know that much. I mean, I'm not going to sit down and teach my kids about Custer and all that stuff. Oh, it's an important part of American history. But, I mean, you know. Oh, I mean, I know it is. But, I I mean, what Who does that, really? Oh, well, I mean, you have to know your history. You uh, do have to know your history. But, I mean, so I. So, you don't think Custer I, matters? I do think it matters. But, I'm not going to personally probably sit down and talk Things I know, I will. You know, I didn't, I was not a big history person. I'm just well, you know, to Custer you went after the Indians, and, and when he got there, a little bighorn, mm-hmm. uh, he thought he was it, and he kept being told, stop, don't go. He was massacred, mm-hmm. but, but he brought it upon himself. But he was a huge, huge part of all of what went on. I think history is very important. I do. I'm not saying, and I think it's ridiculous that they try to erase it, because, I mean, I just, I do. I think it's ridiculous, but. Where would we um, be without Custer? It, history yeah. would be different. I mean, but I'm not, I, I was not a history person. I'm not saying it doesn't matter. I'm just saying I wasn't a history person. I'm not going to sit down and um, go over that with my kids. I probably should, but I won't, you know, and I think it's a shame that they are taking it out of the schools because that's really the only place that they would have gotten it. You know, know? I probably talked about Custer to Dylan Ray at one point. I I, I just wasn't a hit. I wish I would have been because it would have benefited me later on in high school (laughs) when I was having such a hard time and like in American history and stuff. But um, I should have paid more attention. I do think it's important. I think it's ridiculous (laughs) that they're... I do think it's important. I know I sound like I'm contradicting myself, (laughs) but I, I just, you know... Not that it, uh, not that it matters to Candace, but uh, Ernest Tubb was born on this date uh, back in 1914. Look, you ever told your little one about Ernest? No. And, Have you, know, you? Yeah. As a matter of fact, of course, uh, Ernest Tubb done well, so much. I'm just much. an awful parent. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, a I'm, complex now. The name. I'm walking the floor over you. Where would you be without that? You mm-hmm. have to remember. You have to remember. Okay. Well, I need to get me some old history books, I guess. And- <laughs> And I just start, down, you know, from the beginning. I'll, uh, I'll give you the, the highlights. We'll get into the war of northern okay. aggression and all those things. It was on this date that caused the issue that we've got today, and that is daylight saving times. Although it did not go into effect until 1966, this was put in as a war effort to cut back on people burning gas, cut back on things, and they implemented it for a couple years there. Mm-hmm. It was 1966 that our world was rocked, and they made that to where it is now, and everybody doesn't know what time it is. Yeah. Pick one. I think uh, I think we're past all of that. Yeah, I don't like the the day I had to go back, fall back, and spring forward. That's that right. Mess. Bill Haley, here he is. Mm-hmm. Do y'all remember him? He passed away on this date. They found him dead in his bed, fully clothed. I guess he was getting ready to go somewhere. One of the few people that they had come up on at that point in time. Mm. Um, and of course, you remember his song. Mm-hmm. But uh, 
he, uh, he passed away on this day. He was big back in the day. Uh, George Jones, 1959. How about that? Why lighting? Mm. That was George's first number one psalm that he had. Yeah. And, of course, George went on to become many, many, many things. Uh, as we, uh, have you ever been to the Walk of Fame? Uh-uh, I have not. 1960, have it began on this date. Have you been there? Never. I've been to, to, I passed by Hollywood. I saw the sign and I went down to where that big famous music shop was back in 95. Uh-huh. And passed by where uh, uh, OJ lived. They had not torn it down at the time. Okay. And that was my little quick trip through. I've never seen any of this. But she was the first, uh, Joan Woodward was the uh, first person to ever get a star on the Hollywood Walk, Walk of Fame. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Now, I didn't, have you ever known anything about the Coors uh-uh, Company? Uh-uh, I haven't. I guess this goes back to the Lim, Lindbergh, Lim, what was the name of the guy, the flying guy that we talked about the other day? Did you say Lindbergh? How do you say his name? You know, Charles Lindbergh. Is it Lindbergh? I, I guess, yeah. But, you know, of course, his uh, child was stolen or kidnapped, uh-huh. and then they yes. kidnapped the head, the grandson of the Coors Brewery, and they ended up killing him. Oh, gosh. They demanded all this money, and they never let him go. They killed him. Mm. And it uh, doesn't always pay to have money. Not a bit. Oh, gosh. Uh, this, I, you know, I never watched the Ed Sullivan show in my entire life. Did you mm. ever see it? No, just reruns of it I did. I, mean, I don't think I've ever seen a rerun. But was, this was big. This was I the don't night. know when the show ended, but I wasn't more than 74. So. so, but uh, the Beatles made their performance. They came out, and uh, it was a huge success. Uh, and of course, I guess at that point in time, if you were somebody, you had to go on the Ed Sullivan show because Elvis yeah. went there as well. It uh, was a big deal, I think, you know, obviously. 73 but. million people watched it that mm. night. Uh, that's Goodness. that's a heap. Uh, also, uh, we all remember this guy, Travis Tritt, was born on this date. Travis Tritt. And uh, also, as we move forward, this was the first time that this ever happened, 1971. And, of course, all in the family stirred them all up every critic oh, yeah, that existed yeah they didn't there was no limits on that show i don't think as to what <laughs> it he was would say archie bunker called everybody out and he was not in uh, favor of gays and yeah. they had the very first gay character that people can remember on television on this can day you imagine having a show like that today oh they would uh, i mean it would be mm, they'd meet him no they wouldn't even last a day <laughs> they'd shun him out of town yeah uh, this was one of my favorite songs back in 1980. The Oak Ridge Boys had the number one song with Leaving Louisiana and the Broad Daylight. Remember that one? Yes, I used to listen to the Oak Ridge Boys. They, uh, they were a great group. Now, this was prop. Did you listen to more country then, or were you more on the, the rock side I in your w- teenage I, I listened to both, but I was a big Madonna fan. I was. You know, I had my hair, like, curled and with the tie thing. At one point, we would do our hair up like that, and... First time I ever heard that song, I was with Ronnie Payne. I remember that, uh, Like a Virgin. I was like, what is that? I ain't never heard nothing like that. So that uh, Madonna, and of course, she stayed on the charts ever since then. She never went away. Good morning from Linda Jane. Good morning. She's uh, she's sticking up with you there. Well, thank you, Miss Linda. <laughs> I, hope, I think you might talking about the history stuff. That's maybe. what I think she's talking yeah. about. I just, I don't know. I wish I would have been more of a history buff. But I was more of a science and English mm. type. You know, my mama was an English teacher, and I'm horrible at yeah. English. That is now, not my subject. Now, English was not something, oh, I loved, but, I mean, I was okay at it. You know, as far as, like, putting pen to paper, I mean, I could write. So you could diagram could, a sentence. Yeah, I mean, I could do that. I could write an essay. I mean, I could do things like that. Um, but science now was my big thing. I loved it. I did science fairs. I had the big projects that were, like, you know, nine feet tall and, Worked on them for three and four years, adding to them and stuff. I mean, that was my big thing. I remember that year, uh, 11th grade, and I made that mistake of signing up for that class, Advanced Biology. Uh I made it out of there with a D. (laughs) And I barely squeaked by. It was awful. It was horrendous. I loved it. What I didn't love, though, was having to dissect cats and Frog was as big as we got. Yeah, we had to do a cat. What was the purpose of that? I mean, you just had to identify all the parts because somehow or another, I think a cat is close to the anatomy. Really? Yeah. So. Didn't know that one. Mm -hmm. I remember they used to bring them old dead frogs all the time. Yeah. "Yeah." I remember, uh, this Tyler, if you're watching Tyler. Who's Tyler? The Tyler Wiggins. I mean, I went to school with him and, uh. 
we had to dissect a cat, and he was my lab partner. And, of course, he was big, you know, outdoors type, you know. And I was just – because that formaldehyde stuff stunk. Oh, they it stunk, does. You know, and we had to break the jaw of the cat. Really? Yeah. And I remember him saying, let me show you how to break a jaw on a cat. You know, he stuck it on Do they still do that? No, I don't think they probably don't anymore. I don't know. I would I'm pro- sure animal rights people have really got to help. I would but. say today's world, they would be. Uh, yeah. But then when I went to college, we had to do it again. We had to dissect another cat. And because um, in A&P, A&P one or two, I can't remember. But yeah. So, I mean, that was a big thing. You know, let we me had just to say, take I, out all the parts and pin them to the paper. And, I avoided all that at uh, Scuba Tech my time there. I never went near a class yeah. like that. Well, it, this was at MCC when I went when I went there for a little while when I was trying. I was going to go to the nursing program. So. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's a big thing, or it used to be, but that yeah. was not my favorite part. I would Science never be now. a scientist. Yeah. I can see that right off the bat. <laughs> Let's talk about Joe and the friendly folks out at uh, the Pig the Wiggly of Collinsville. Always something great going on at the Pig if you want a bargain. Of course, tomatoes this week. Now, these prices are good through tonight when they close. Mm-hmm. So if you want to go buy Roma tomatoes or 99 cents a pound, you can get those oranges, three forty nine for a four-pound bag. You can also get the chili beans, $1.19 a can. Might want to make you some chili. Oh, yeah, for the weekend. Yeah. You're going to be the- stuck inside. <laughs> A1, you can get that for three ninety nine, along with a Heinz 57, three thirty nine, dollars mm-hmm. And the ketchup, you always need a backup bottle of that in case you run out right in the middle of the french fries. Yes. $2.99. I had to look for mine last night. I just bought some yesterday along with the other $295 <laughs> worth of groceries. I like well, you have to have your groceries yeah. there. And, of course, you can get that salad dressing at $2. Uh, you get two of them for 6 bucks. Yeah. You can get the Skippy peanut butter, $2.49. And, of course, Eggos make a great quick lunch. Uh, I mean, uh, breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on when you get up. Yeah, Eggo waffles, that's the ticket right there. Two for $5, you can get those. Yes. And, of course, Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville has some of the best meat that you'll find anywhere. Those T-bones mm-hmm. for five ninety nine. You can also get the family pack three ninety nine for the uh, shoulder steaks. That's not bad at all. And they offer you the, the whole pork loin, $1.59 a pound. Including the pork chops, if you're going to be doing some grilling this weekend, you might yes. want that. Dollar ninety nine, Coke products three for twelve dollars, and always drinking water three for uh, ten dollars. That's just mm-hmm. some of the bargains. Now they've got a whole lot more going on at the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. Drop in and see them; they'll help you out there. And uh, this little friendly reminder from Sanders Gas is all about getting your gas before this weekend. Sanders Gas, Sanders Air and Heat is your full service propane supplier since 1946. We take pride in ensuring reliable, friendly service to our customers. We also provide safety tune-ups related to propane, air conditioning, and heating systems, keeping our community efficient and safe. I'm Chuck Sanders, and yes, we're local. And uh, as we get this day rolling, don't forget there's going to be another food giveaway. Mm-hmm. And that's coming up at tomorrow. The, yeah. At 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. So make sure you make it out. That's at the, the Lauderdale County Agri Center. I don't know if there's a set how many times a month they do this, but that's uh, pretty often they've done it here lately. So Yeah. Um, and, you know, you might want to get there. I don't know if they start making a line. The pictures from last week, uh-huh. I've never been to it. There was tons of cars I, there. Well, I have... Um, a friend of the family that she went and lined up early and she was in line i think she said for three hours wow so she got there early so she would get her things you know because i guess if you get there late you might not you, you know, could you might they be could gone run by out. the time you get up there so i was gonna see if i could find the uh the pictures from last week mm-hmm. from the sheriff's department I, and i think they've still got that on their site if i can if i can get that pulled up in time because they did a great job with everybody that was there. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. I'm I'm getting on down. Here we go. This is this is from last week. If you go check out uh, the sheriff's department page here, mm-hmm. that's a ton of cars lined up here. Yes. So this is what will be out of the the ag center. Mm-hmm. Uh, expect that, and uh, they did do a great job of getting everybody directed. So I don't know if they had the three different lines and they do them one at the time. Yeah. However, they do it, but. But we appreciate everybody yes. who is involved in that because that is it's a great thing, and especially for people who, you know, are we have a lot of shut-ins, you know, people who can't get out, um, elderly people and stuff like that, and there's a lot of people who help these people out and they go get food for them. So, yeah. Um, you know, we appreciate y'all. 
Everybody. Good morning to Kobe McWhorter. She says she's learned a thing or two listening to us. I, really I don't know what it could have been, but <laughs> <laughs> good morning to, to Brian McCary. I hope you're doing uh, we'll be at the they're at the Dixon National this week, he said. I didn't okay. realize that. The Oak Ridge boys. I have not of course I've never seen them in, in like in person in a concert. So that'd be neat. Okay, who remembers the episode of Dukes of Hazard they were on? And I think they did leave in Louisiana. I, don't I really yeah. I don't remember that episode, but yeah. I used to watch Dukes Hazard all the time. Good morning to uh, Donna Sue Peebles. She mm-hmm. is watching uh, this morning also. And I uh, hope they have a full tank of gas. Come yeah. all the cars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. you might need that while you're out at the Ag Center. Yes. But again, that's tomorrow, wasn't it? 11 to yes, 2? Yes, 11 to 2 tomorrow. So, uh, get out and check that out. Let's talk about some other things going on in the state of Mississippi because there's, there's a few things happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, the funeral services today. Mm-hmm. Uh, for Lieutenant Michael Boyette, it'll be this afternoon. Uh, they're expected this to be miles upon miles long yes. as his funeral procession takes place. Uh, mm-hmm. And again, condolences to his yes. family. Yes, yes. Now, do you know a little bit more about this thing here that's mm-hmm. going on? They're looking at cutting some red tape in the Mississippi. Mm-hmm. In Mississippi, is it a good thing or a bad thing? What they're doing is doing getting ready to possibly. They haven't done this. They're introducing. Where they would do away with licensing. How do you say that word? Licensing. Yeah, that's a uh-huh. tough word for me. Uh, so you're an art therapist, a massage therapist, an auctioneer, people who fit people for wigs. You know, like if you have cancer and you need a wig, mm-hmm. they would do away with them having to go to school to do this. I, I, and I think it is not a good thing. I mean, it, it might seem like a good thing to these people who would love to get into the profession and they don't have to go to school and they're thinking, great, I can just... You know, and I need a job. And I know there's a lot of people who do need a job, but for it runs this risk is, this also, is not where it? it ends, folks. There's another one out there that a, um, I think his last name is England. He's a, a um, representative for Mississippi. He's trying to pass a bill which would allow um, anyone to wash hair, um, dry hair, style hair, do extensions for eyelashes i'm sure it won't stop there um also do waxing and stuff like and these are things that that you may think oh what's the big deal it doesn't sound big well first of all eyelash extensions you're messing with glue around the eye these people have to have no license and no training no training okay i mean i mean go in and start right just go in there and start so Hair, when we go to school for cosmetology, we learned about skin and scalp um, uh, disorders, which would be diseases of the skin and scalp. Right. And we learn about all these things. Head lice. I mean, these people don't even have to learn about that. They don't even know what they're looking at. I mean, they could be like, you know, passing this stuff customer to customer to customer. They don't even know. Um, this is things that you need training for. And this is what and- we went to school for for nine months to a year to learn these things, and we put the time in and the money, the money that goes into right. going to school also. And so for them to just come in and go, oh, we're just going to do away with that, you know, you can do what you want to do. This is becoming a trend, and I'm, I'm getting sick of it. And I hope that all of these people who have license, you know, to do these things, I hope we stand up and get a petition going or something and, and write our, um, you know, write them about this because it is ridiculous that they're doing this. So it's you know? it's more to it than meets the eye. It is very much more to it than meets the eye. And it's not fair to the people who have um, put in the money and the time and the schooling. Um, that's just like, like, would you want somebody in the dental office oh, you yeah. know, that hadn't had any training messing around in your mouth? Um, just because it's your hair or your, you know, it doesn't You get mean, end up bald or purple headed. Right. Ringworm. <laughs> okay, just think about it. Like ringworms. People can have a ringworm on their scalp. You're going to pass that from person to person, you know, because, I mean, stuff like that happens. Skin disorders, I mean, stuff like that is, you know, you don't play around with it. But A moment with Candace, and I didn't know all that. So it's a lot of stuff. It gives you something to think of. A lot of things. A lot now, of things. Another thing that has gone on in the state of Mississippi, you, I have never heard of somebody being jumped on this way. This mm-hmm. happened in the state where a guy was at a grocery store and he was jumped on. It was like a convenience store. Mm -hmm. He was jumped on with a T-post. He is in the hospital, serious condition. He was airlifted there. The guy that did it is under arrest, and uh, we hope he turns out okay. That is horrible. Uh, The man was 59 years old. It was Mm -hmm. a 49-year-old guy jumped on a 59-year-old with a T-post, beat him. A T-post. I mean, that's just like... And, of course, that's blunt. A piece of steel. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we uh, we hope everything gets better. They've got all the uh, surveillance cameras for everything mm -hmm. that happened, and uh, it could turn out bad. Now, as we start looking at the, the and I say this because I see a pattern. Yeah. The, the Democrats are probably pretty sure that the impeachment is not going to happen. Mm -hmm. They're going to make a big deal out of it and try to destroy Donald where he can't run in 24. But I think they see the writing on the wall that, yeah, this probably isn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. So plan B or C or J or whatever you want to call it, yeah. Georgia is launching a, uh, an investigation into Trump over the calls that he made to the guy uh, with the election commission in Georgia to try to say that he was trying to sway the vote. Uh, they're going to try several things. It's, it's not ending with this impeachment. Trust me. Uh, now they want to like check on the, the uh, put an investigation into the election stuff. Now I'm or, not for, because it's benefiting them, the Democrats. Now you may know more about this than I do, but aren't there some cases now coming before the Supreme Court after the election has gone to where they're re-examining some of this voter fraud now? Yeah, there, there is, and there really needs to be. And if y'all have not seen. The Mike Lindell video. And I missed 10 million okay. people watched it. Okay, but, it was on YouTube. And, and it they've was, taken it down. Right, and and I've got it anyway um, because I saved it to a different thing. But anyway, it is, it's a long kind of drawn out thing if you don't care to, you know, if mind You're watching it. You're saying watch it though. Watch it because it's not just saying, oh yeah, that was voter fraud. They have actual proof um, the all night long it tells the time it tells the server that it come from it tells where it where it came from which was like a lot of it was from china um interruptions in the election it shows when the numbers changed it has the numbers but they're shows not where they changed but what is it that them? they're not it because they're not going to use any of that evidence they're saying well, it's it's frivolous in that what they're trying to say that mike lindell's yeah they're saying it's frivolous but they're just you know they're I mean, it's kind of like anything that pertains to um, them, and I say them being like the all those the, investigating the, this. The stuff. right, yeah. Um, anything, you know, it just seems like they just push it under the rug and act like, oh, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal, and I don't know what could really even be done after the election if there's I'm, anything that could be done. But I don't see, to me, if it was if it was an unconstitutional thing, if it was against the law, I mean, I, I don't see why it couldn't be gone back they and would investigated. They would never let any, like if they were to prove in court that something, mm -hmm. they would never back the election up. It would never happen. I don't but, know. And, and I don't know it's enough about shame. it. I hadn't watched Mike Lindell's video, which I need to, just to see what he has to say. And then we'll watch what happens with the Supreme Court of these cases. Now, uh -huh. i got to get caught up on that to see where those are, where they're coming from, what states. There was one instance where... There was like thousands of dead voters in one state. Oh. Thousands. There was thousands of underage voters. People but had all these underage kids signed up to vote, and they were counting those votes. Their response to that is saying that there's not enough, even if you count oh, all those enough. to make. No, they said that, addition. but this this shows the proof. There's like one time there was a, a thirty something thousand vote difference in one of the instances. But their response was it wasn't enough to uh, shake Yeah, the they said it wasn't enough, but I don't think they expected proof like that to come out in the open. But obviously, this Lindell guy had a lot of investigating but going they, on behind the scenes. They banned him from YouTube for life, too, I think. Well, I mean, I think all of these, I mean, all these people Ooh, are kind of in cahoots, you know, and so... I think if it's anything that's damning ev evidence, they're going to get rid. They're going to get try to get rid of it. But you know, there's people who save this stuff. It ain't got to be saved to. But the know, question certain, is, will it ever reach a court that does anything about it? I don't know. I hope it. I hope it does because I mean, not just because I'm a Republican and it's a different. I just think it's wrong. If it was a Republican person who was being um, untruthful and they were lying and. If You'd want was, to know the if truth to that. Anybody who who goes against the law, who cheats and has fraud going on, I, I think they should think be called you, out for it. I really you sure do. you just should bring up every member of Congress. Well, they probably <laughs> would, you know. I mean, but I just think that I mean anybody should be called out on that. It's just not right, and it it makes the American people not trust the process. I mean, oh, it, I don't see anybody much trusting from now on the election process. It's uh, it's going to be know, a scary thing in the future. It is, especially if they still are able to use absentee ballots of mailing them in. Mm -hmm. I think if you had to go up, I think the American people, like we used to do, yes. could get used to that. But if they still have this mail-in ballot, it's going to be a lot of people going, I don't know 
know about all that. Yeah. They use the virus as, oh, like, yeah. uh, I mean, they really played it. It is a real thing, and it's a horrible thing, but they they used it to their advantage. And um, supposedly they were going to stop it and do all this. And I think everybody's seeing that, I mean, there's not anything that anybody can really do except wait it out and just on the virus situation. So Joe Biden's not going to do any more than Trump, you know. We well, can't. I mean, I there's mean, it's, nothing you can do. He, it's just he even like, admitted, I can't do any more than I'm doing. Right. It's so, it's just an epidemic. It, it, it hit us. Yeah. Uh, as we look at other things, Don Jr. is going to campaign against Liz Cheney. He's going to Wyoming. And, of course, the Republicans there have, uh, <clears throat> have uh, censored her. Uh-huh. And they wanted her to resign. She's not going to resign. Mm-hmm. But come the election, the next round, mm-hmm. I think she does have problems. Don Jr. will put a lot of uh, force into going after her. We'll yeah. see how that turns out. Also, I never watched this show. I remember mm-hmm. seeing the, the, the previews to it, The Worst Cook in America. Uh-huh. The winner of that is accused of beating her two-year-old adopted daughter to death. She had tweeted a bunch about it. She had, uh, I think these two are her biological kids, and she had adopted the two little boys and the little girl. And I think the two boys are actual brothers. Mm-hmm. And she was beat to death. They're, her and her husband are in jail now. And uh, that happened in South Carolina. That is horrible. Yeah, more news will come out about this as it comes along. But can, and there's several stories that involve children this morning. Just yes. awful. Yes. As we turn to, that'll be in a second. We'll jump to that. Uh, Bitcoin. I know nothing about Bitcoin. You ever dealt with that? I don't. I don't know that much about it. Um, but uh, the guy that Elon Musk, who's sending up mm-hmm. the space rockets, and he owns the the company that builds the electric cars, Tesla. He's invested $1.5 billion into Bitcoin and says in the future they will accept Bitcoin to buy automobiles. Their stocks jumped 10% yesterday after he'd done this. Now, what, didn't we have a story not too long ago about a guy who had millions of dollars in Bitcoin and couldn't remember his password? Yeah. Or something? It was like 250 <laughs> thousand or so I, I thought it was like in the millions it could have been could yeah. have been and he could he wanted to get the money out but he couldn't remember his password and you get like eight or nine times and to he, guess your password and he had like one time left or something i don't yeah. know but i don't know that what would become be of that guy that'd be horrible that's where a bank is a little bit better because you can walk in there and go <laughs> yeah. hey i'd like my money back mm, yes i, I, I don't know after that bank of america deal you know they're i think they're gonna have a class action lawsuit mm. coming against them for releasing information right right and after that i mean it kind of makes me want to just put my money in a hole in the ground <laughs> get you in the mason jars <laughs> yeah yeah we might have to go to the mason jar oh, it does make you think that the right. interpreter are y'all familiar with this i brought up this lady a few weeks ago to where mm-hmm. they discovered that she was a trump supporter she's the the lady that does the sign language uh-huh. but she was run off uh, yeah. from the White House because she was a Trump supporter. Can you do that? Fire somebody for their political views? I mean, I think there's there's probably laws against that, but as we've seen, they kind of don't go by the law. She know? was canceled, and she says she was humiliated publicly mm-hmm. because of the way she voted. She goes, when she I do my job, I do my job. It's not political. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see if the White House does anything about that and brings her back. Yeah. Uh, Maxine Waters, I, uh, Waters, Mm-hmm. I think we all know who she is now. I did not know who she was about a year ago. You know, I think they've taken um, George Jefferson's mama and put her on here. She does to resemble run. her. She sounds just like her. And does, she looks like her and sounds like her. No, it's Wheezy's mother-in-law. Yeah, I George's still hear mama, that. you know. Mrs. Jefferson. Yeah. But she says she done nothing wrong. She did not encourage violence. And I'm sure we all yeah. saw that video where she was standing on the street corner encouraging people right. to she, attack members. I mean, we heard it. She said it. We know it. And that was along about the time that Sarah uh, Huckabee was jumped on in that uh, restaurant uh-huh. at that time, wasn't it? Yeah. The Red Rooster or something right. like that. They were attacking her as a person, as a mother. as a, I mean, yeah. I hope she gets what she's – she's running for governor, right? Yeah. State. But you go back and you, you think about Sarah Huckabee. She's a tough old girl. She is. Uh, but, you know, they were – it had never – they were – and I don't know how to word this other than just say it. You know, they were even saying that she was overweight and jumping. I you mean, yeah, do personal that. attacks. Yeah. Especially, a, how did they get away with all of that? Yeah. It, it's just wrong. You know how they get away with it, Scotty? Nobody stands up to well, them. 
Good point. People sit down and take it instead of standing up and and raising all kind of cane about it. And that's what's going to have to happen. People are going to have to get a backbone and stand up. And you got to have this, one. It, people are going to have to band together. I don't mean be violent. That's not what I'm talking about. You mean about. just stand your ground. Right. Have a voice. And, like, everybody get together and have one voice, you know, and really get their attention. Because, I mean, I don't know how else it's going to happen. I mean, they're not going by the laws. They're making up their own laws. Breaking the law. They're not going by the Constitution. And to me, I don't understand why these people are not removed from office when they do not go by the Constitution, that they raise their right hand and put the other hand on the Bible and swore to go by the Constitution. Defend it. Right. I don't understand it. Remove them from office. I mean, uh, it's just cut and dry. So how long will all this continue? We'll see. Yeah, I don't understand why they just... I bring this up because I I put this next story on the who really cares thing. (sighs) But I thought I'd mention it because she was such a sweet girl as a kid. And they say that Miley fought back tears as she sang her song Wrecking Ball over her relationship. I, I think she got married to a guy, mm-hmm. Liam Hemsworth. Yeah. But uh, apparently they're having some marriage issues of some sort. Are they still together? I could tell you. I don't even know. Because she was dating women one time, then she was dating a man, then she married some. Uh, I lose track of what she does. Mm-hmm. And you have to really think about being Billy Ray for a moment. Can you imagine... Being Billy Ray for ten minutes and going, that's my daughter. Mm-hmm. It, it, that would just it would I mean, be embarrassing. At some point, I don't know. At some point, don't you like say, "Hey, hey, Miley, I need you to come over here. We need to have a talk." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, but, I don't know. I mean, I guess when kids get to a certain age, they're grown. They're going to do their own thing. Now, every stunt she does, right. she sells more albums. She makes a lot of money, but money yeah. ain't everything. Yeah. I mean, get, if you got to sell get your you soul the, to yeah. get money, you don't. Need, you ain't getting in the Golden it. Gates doing right. that. Right. Candace Owen, she's very well respected. Rumor is that she says that, uh, well, it's more than a rumor. She says that she is considering mm-hmm. running for president in 24. She's a very good speaker. I mean, she really is. She she can um, answer about any question without a, a mishap. Um, and she's smart. I mean, she, she knows her stuff. You know, she knows all about politics. and. Um, so what will happen in, tw- and just thinking out loud here, you know, last time we had 17 people that thought they could do it. Ted Cruz and a whole bunch of others. Jeb, who can forget Jeb? Mm-hmm. Will they just go ahead and back the Don, or will they have to have runoffs? Will they just go with, with him, or will they have runoffs here? Because anybody I, goes up against him, the vote. Well, Do you I, honestly think I they mean, have a he chance? Is, to me, he's done more for this country. I mean, I would back him again. Right. I would. I think he's the, the one that needs to go in there. We know he's a strong person. I mean, we know he can handle situations. He has business smarts. I mean, he can deal with money. Good. He had the country on track. I don't care if you like him or you don't. Right. He did good things for the country. So I think they should just not worry about the running off. <laughs> we'll I mean, no, get Candace Owen as your uh, vice president. Oh, good morning to uh, Scott Sherlow. Good morning to you. Hope your day is going well also, giving us a hello. Uh, make sure to share if you can. Uh, it gets uh, more people involved, brings mm-hmm. more people to watch what we do every day, and we appreciate that. Let's see what else we got going on, Candace. We got some more stories here that I thought we'd share. Did you watch the Super Bowl? I did not watch the Super Bowl. I didn't Bowl. either. I, so at I the end of the day, I got ready and I thought, I, I can't go against my principles. Not this year anyway. Maybe something better will happen next year and I'll feel better about the NFL. But I could not do it. I have not even gone back and looked at any kind of recaps of the Super Bowl. Like any of the commercials. Or I didn't watch else. those, but I did look up the streaker. Uh, uh, well, I heard about that. <laughs> I did hear about and that. From what I read, he was paid by a porn site to do that. Mm-hmm. To run out there. Now, he yeah. wasn't naked or anything. but uh, Yeah. I think there's... I heard also this morning that he's part of a group um, of people who do this. So I don't know. To get that moment yeah. in the spotlight. And, and so some people were saying he was not paid. Some people were saying he was. I don't know. But all I know is <laughs> they supposedly tackled him. I mean, like. Yeah, yeah. and they did. I saw yeah. that. They chased him down, got yeah. him in the end zone, laid him down. Yeah. Does Joe appear ever without his wife? I've, I've just noticed every picture or every time he goes to talk, Jill is sitting next to him. Do y'all get the idea that she's like under the table just pinching, pinching the fire out of him? <laughs> if he goes to look, it's just her face like, he said it again. Well, he, he was it booed, it says, at the Super Bowl. <laughs> I didn't watch any of it, so I don't know. But they said when he came up on the screen, it was pre-recorded, mm-hmm. and he was booed from the crowd. 
Yeah. So uh, that. I don't know. I, um, but yeah, you don't rarely do you see him unless he's at a podium, and then he's reading a teleprompter. Yeah. And like struggling to do it, you know. So uh, she is with him close in. It is probably more than you think. Mm -hmm. Even back, you know, you never saw Donald in those days when he was trying to run for president, having his wife, having to coach him. Just, yeah. Just small what was thoughts. it? What was it said? Um, one of the things. Do you remember when she was sitting next to him and he said the wrong president, like Bush, or did he say? I, I know what you're said, talking about. It's Trump. Yeah. <laughs> just to remind him. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. <laughs> As we get hunkered down for 2021, and everybody was, you know, at the end of December, November, oh, I'll be glad when 20's over. Mm -hmm. We don't know what 21 is bringing just yet, but they keep saying that this next round of coronavirus is worse than this first round, mm -hmm. and it's the UK super COVID is what they call this, and this is the states so far that is popped up in. Now, Mississippi, if you'll notice on this map, has not gotten the first case yet. Keep Alabama's gotten, crossed. yeah, keep them crossed. Mm -hmm. Alabama at 623 in Georgia, down in Florida, 200 cases. And as big as Texas is, only 17 cases so far. These gray areas here are the states that have not been affected by it. Mm -hmm. How long do you think this map is good for? Well, when they open the border, there's no telling what we're going to get. Mm, um, good point. Last night I was watching, and they were talking about how um, when you go through an airport, how you're scanned, you know, or you're che they're talking about trying to do coronavirus tests before you even can get on an airplane. Oh, boy. Now. Okay, but yet we can let all these people come in, and they're not going to check them for anything. And you imagine what and they're just bringing. turn them loose, you know. Right, turn them loose. I don't quite, I mean, it is the craziest craziest thing right it now. makes you want to go okay i'm in a dream let me wake up from this is yeah, this really like, happening i know i mean everything is just totally off the wall up in there yeah, if you can't go hang out with your family at thanksgiving how can we let nine million people right. live, or these eight thousand that have walked up to the border and just let them in well they just said how how disastrous it's going to be i was listening to um somebody too last night talking about it was one of the um i guess it was a law enforcement person um Texas Marshall maybe or something and they were a ranger or whatever they are out there um talking about the wall and he said it just come to a halt I mean just all of a sudden they when they said put your tools down right and he just said that they don't understand how disastrous this is going to be there's going to be people killed there's going to be people raped there's going to be people you know it's just going to be these all are not all things. great upstanding citizens so that's why right. we always had the system where it weeded through and only the best of the best people got to come to america they had to offer something to america right they had to have a trade a tool something they could do for us well, that is out the window well they were talking about like, okay and this is another thing you can't do anything to them you can't uh, the catch and release right. is back now right so what's to stop mexican cartel people from coming right to that wall and handing over all these drugs there's a lot of things going to happen. What's to stop? I mean, they they can't stop them. I agree. What are they going to do? And so they're bringing God knows what drugs into the country. I mean, that's probably going on anyway. You well, know, that, but still, this would just be like free reign. You know. There's a lot of people that don't want laws in order. They're criminals. They they <laughs> want it to stay the way it is to where they can mm -hmm. gain more. To me, and that the people in Washington Washington need to be held accountable for it. Aiding to that. And what Candace is saying Accessory is, it is to that. gotten to a point to where our representatives no longer represent us. Right. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, you should be for the good of the people. You shouldn't be for tearing the country apart. I mean, and that's what it is doing. Any, now, a blind man could say that. I mean, you absolutely. could. You could. It's just crazy. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, we had some more stories that involved uh, some children that were in accidents. This is one of these horrible stories, but she died a hero of saving a, uh, I believe it's a three-year-old uh, that she saved. Yeah, uh, they were sledding, and they hit a tree, and she shielded uh, the three-year-old from the oh. tree, and she gave her life for the little boy. So uh, they've set up a GoFundMe for her. Uh, Renee Hill is her name, and mm -hmm. she, the, the family can't afford a, a funeral, so they're trying to raise money to bury her so well that is a horrible thing it is that this is a next very story horrible thing. is even as bad as that is this one is even worse as we go to this one somebody hijacked a car mm -hmm. and this was in kansas in wichita i've been there before mm -hmm. a 13 year old girl was in the back seat waiting on her parents to come back in from the restaurant a guy jumps in it to steal it. She tries to jump out of the back seat as he's driving away, and she's drugged for miles behind the car 
that was hijacked, uh, and she died. He's been arrested for murder now, mm. and uh, I don't know where that'll end up. But uh, that's that's just that awful. Awful. Yeah, I hate to even mention those stories, but mm -hmm. uh, it's reality of things that go on, and we have to remember there's bad people out there. And that, that is the only reason I bring this up, because not everything in life is, is daisies and butterflies. They're, they're bad people, and we have to address them. Yes. Now, I will say this about, um, I want to bring this up. It's not about that, but I was, I'm just thinking back from the story before. We're talking about the funeral cost of the, right. the girl. Um, and I know this is a totally different thing from the virus, but um, there could be other ways that people can help with funeral costs other than GoFundMe. I know with the virus thing, I do know that the, the administration that's in right now, um, because I had heard Chuck Schumer talking about it last night, they have, mil I want to say they had $200 million dollars. Um, set aside for people who have passed away that can't afford funeral costs for the um, coronavirus. For the coronavirus, so like with that, but I bet you there's some red tape involved that would. I don't know, but I mean, get in touch with, get in touch with them if you have issues with that. Um, but if you want to make a donation, and I've seen people do this before, also where you can call directly the funeral home where they're at and make oh, a can payment you do that? Yes. to that to where because you know GoFundMe gets um, GoFundMe is ten percent. Okay. They get they, they get a percentage of whatever's donated. Okay. That's how they operate. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to give to that to where they do get a percentage, you can donate directly to a funeral home well, toward a funeral. With this with this girl where this happened though and they're having trouble, you know, with the funeral costs, I wonder if each state has some kind of a aid in helping people like that. I don't know, may, maybe know? somebody knows this watch yeah. because I do not. Because that's a horrible, I would think that is a horrible feeling when somebody you love passes away and you can't afford. Well, I remember the tornado that struck Meridian. What was that back in uh, 11, just south of town? The, the zero. 11, zero, the 11 people, that, yeah. you know, they did not have the money and it was, mm -hmm. uh, it was locally uh, mm -hmm. on the ground. We stayed on the radio and raised enough money to where they were buried and, mm -hmm. uh, each dollar counts, but yes. you know, even going back to that, I don't remember a fund like for tornado. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe well, there is, and I'm not aware of it. I think the states, when you're putting money into different things, they need to come up with something like that. That would be a good thing, I think. Instead of giving it to other countries, right? Just right. A single thought, and I bring up certain stories just to prove that America ain't all that bad. Mm -hmm. This next one, you know, you hear a lot about Sharia law and people that want to mm -hmm. join up and all this stuff. This. Uh, Let's just show you this. Mm -hmm. This happens. These two Christian fellows here went out on a drinking binge. Well, they were caught. You can't do that in Sharia law. They put them up. Uh, this is in Indonesia. They took them out in the public and beat them 40 times uh, with a stick for drinking. Mm. Now, you think about that. You're a Christian and you just go have a drink. You backslide. They're yeah. going to beat you. That's light compared to what those people do to, to you. Yeah. I mean, they cut fingers, toes, anything. Uh -huh. They're bad. You don't realize how great America really well, is. Yeah, people take it for granted all Ooh. the time, their freedoms, until it's gone. It, it is. <laughs> this next story is just it's just a, another, I guess, sad Tuesday morning story of a guy that uh, was against poaching. He became a ranger. He, was, he dedicated his life to saving animals. Mm -hmm. And he was out doing that this past week, and uh, he was doing his job teaching and training a dog and a lion slowly followed him in the bushes and watched mm -hmm. him. And then when the others eased off, he jumped on him and killed him. Goodness. And uh, they got back. They ended up shooting the lion that killed him. It was a hungry lion that hadn't eaten in weeks and had tracked him, had been on prey on him for hours. Goodness. That's Awful. scary. That is so scary. Uh, if we go to our next one. Nationwide Catholic school enrollment has dropped. Uh, mm -hmm. 200 schools. And they say that the cost has a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's probably other factors in this, but decline is starting yeah. to see this. 6% mm -hmm. so far this year. It's expensive, um, you know, for, I mean, private schools, Catholic schools. I mean, it's a big expense for people. Right. And, you know, a lot of people, in some places they do get, like, help, you know, um, paying for it. Maybe gov government assistance. You know, I'm not of course, sure. I don't know what happened to those bills to where they were trying to get it to where you could transfer your money that would be given to a public yeah. school to an academy. I don't know if that ever happened or not. I don't know. But, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why people put their kids in those schools instead of public school and, um, you know. Well, I'm sure uh, test grades have a lot to do with it. If yeah. your county is bad, you don't want your school, your child to be in that. You want to mm -hmm. give them the best education. Yeah. And, as you said, there's other reasons. Yeah, but 
you know, we hope that picks up for everybody. Like you take Megan Kelly and all that bunch in New York, mm -hmm. it was costing 150000 a child, and then they started implementing all these different philosophies that they didn't agree, and they took their children out. Yeah. Yeah, that is a thing you have to kind of watch. And if you if you don't stay informed yourself or involved, or, in involved your or you don't try to stay in the, you know, what – what they're learning, you know, you will, you will kind of miss what's going on. Well, know. Alabama history will teach us this guy was all over Alabama history. Mm -hmm. The University of Alabama at Birmingham has removed anything to do with George Wallace upon his, his walls, his campuses, because they say that he was uh, a racist and he is out. He's gone. Now, Wallace had his issues. You know, of course, you know, he was paralyzed when he was running for president. He was shot mm -hmm. and uh, he never made it. But, uh, mm -hmm. That's news today. Someone else getting canceled. Dolly, back in the news again. Mm. Can you imagine her having perfume now? <laughs> <laughs> She's got her hand in everything. So uh, check it out. If you can, uh, you can buy a sample for ten dollars, and if you like it, you can use that ten dollars that you bought that sample toward the purchase of a full size bottle. Pretty good marketing yeah, plan. Yeah, that is. That is. Got her little butterfly emblem up there. I guess that's her logo. Was that it is. Yeah, it's always been a butterfly. I remember you know. as a kid watching her in the swing, you know, in the uh -huh. butterfly of the Dolly Parton show. Yeah, I watched that. We've had our first congressman uh, pass away from the coronavirus. A Texas Republican has mm -hmm. passed away from it. Yes. Uh, condolences to his family. It was a couple of days ago. He had also been um, battling lung cancer. Oh, too. so that yeah. just that's one of those cases mm -hmm. to where you get it and it just... Yeah, I think he in January he announced that he had COVID. And so he just went, you know, had to deal with it from there. But You see this stuff on TV and you go, oh, that could never happen. Well, yeah. this guy thought he was smarter than the rest. Mm -hmm. He was a crime scene investigator, kills his wife, denies it. He's been arrested for it now because of his iPhone. He said, I was asleep when all that happened. Well, they got his iPhone out. He had it in his pocket, and it showed the steps that he took to where she was, and that tracked him back and tied him to the killing. She looks so yes. familiar. She looks like a... Um, it's like I bumped into her somewhere before. She looks like a actress or something that yeah. I've seen on TV. Because I like, promise you, I've seen yeah. this woman somewhere yeah. before, and I, and I can't think of she it. She looks like um, a girl that was on, like, um, Young and the Restless or either one of the... One okay. of those shows. The stories. <laughs> it's my grandmother. She wasn't, but uh, 42 years old, and uh, he gets 16 years in prison. Why he didn't get life, I don't know, but yeah. uh, 16 years in prison he will get. Mm -hmm. Some deaths over the last 24 hours. Now, I've never watched this show before. I've seen the other one, Alaskan uh, Mountain Men and mm -hmm. stuff, but apparently this is a pretty big show, uh, Alaskan Bushmen people. They build, like, stuff in the woods out of, like, sticks and things. I think oh. they build, like houses and stuff out of it. It's kind of neat. Passed know? away on Sunday. Uh, from what I understand, he had a stroke. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a woolly old boy, isn't he? Yeah, that mustache. I guess that's a animal teeth there around his neck. Is that what that is on that chain? Shark like teeth it. or something? I don't know. It looks kind of like a crab claw. I don't think I want to bump into him at night, but uh, <laughs> no. he has passed away from a stroke. And we mm -hmm. find out early this morning that this young lady passed away also. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Mary Wilson, one of the original Supremes, mm -hmm. died at 76 yesterday. Now, they yes. haven't given a, a cause, what happened. Uh, they said just suddenly, is that what they said? Uh -huh. it was just, she died suddenly in her home. Now, and I bring this, this up next. How many times have we all gone into Logan's Roadhouse in Meridian? Mm -hmm. This guy was such a super nice guy. When you went in, he had come to your table. He was 34 years old. He passed away from cancer. He was the manager oh, there. Goodness. And uh, I think he was buried last week, but they got this up as you go in the door as a remembrance to him. And again, he was such a nice guy. If you didn't like something, he mm -hmm. got you a drink. He took care of you and made sure that you were happy. Worked his way up from a bartender to become manager there. Well, and, prayers. Uh, we had yeah. prayers for his family because that... Mm. That's a that's a tough one. I think it was yeah. from Lauderdale, Mississippi, is where he was from. So uh, we pass condolences to his yes. family because there's so that you think about it of where you go eat of the people that go out of their way to make sure that you're happy. And I'm so and just yes, people like that that just will and just have a great attitude. Yeah, you know, you could be having not such a great day and just somebody come up to your table and go, hey, you know, how are you yeah. doing today? And act like they really care. Yeah. You know, how you and I them. do believe that old yes. boy did. Yes. So, yeah. again, we pass along our condolences uh, to his family. Mm -hmm. Truly uh, somebody that will be missed. Yes.
Uh, as Valentine's Day gets closer, Tiffany would like you to swing by and check out her boutique. She's got a lot going on. She does. It's Tiffany Blue Boutique, and she's located in the Atrium Mall on Highway 493 in Meridian, which is over in the Broadmoor area, North Hills area. Um, also, she has a place in Quitman, the Rustic Couture, and it's on 512 North Ar Archusa Avenue in Quitman. But she has an array of different things. She has modern to farmhouse things. Um, right. She has original paintings, also um, just all kind of modern style paintings. Um, lamps. She has furniture in there. Yeah, lots check of it all rustic out. tables. All these little tea towels that are so cute. Um, she even has seasonal tea towels. Yeah. And a little bit of everything. Pillows for your throw pillows, which and are big Starting uh, today, 20% off for your Valentine's uh, Day. That, so that's great. Check yes. that out. Of course, pillows. Yeah, she says that she has the new, it's called Boho Glam yeah. pillows, those that were on there. But, um, You'll have to teach uh, me one day what Boho like, is, but yeah. I'm learning people. <laughs> but like um, all these modern lamps, mm -hmm. you can mix those with. Um, rustic style stuff and just have, you know, a combination of rustic and modern. All these seasonal things like the little bunnies. Yeah. Those are so cute. And would you tell me that color was of the bunny there? It looks like mint green to okay. me. I'm, uh -huh. I'm a learning. Yeah. And of course, there's just a little bit of anything for your mm -hmm. decor that you're looking for for your home. It is. See her today. She'll take care of you there at the Atrium Mall here in Meridian. Uh, up next to uh, Mug. Uh, mug Shots. Mug, 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 mug. I couldn't get it out. <laughs> yes. Mug Shots. It's right next there. So uh, she'll help you and take care of you there. Again, uh, we want to say thank you for dropping by and spending a little time with us today. As we begin this Tuesday, boy, it is uh, it is getting along fast. It's already uh, getting into the 930 range as we begin our day. We'll watch the bad weather for you over the next couple of days. Regardless, it's going to be extremely cold. Right. Like we said, get a head start on your if you don't have your pipes wrapped and stuff like that. Because I know a lot of times... People will uncover them when the weather starts warming up. You need to wash your car. You need to do something yeah. with the water. You know, wrap your pipes. Make sure they're all wrapped, and make sure your pets are taken care of for when the weather gets. And warm. if you have a mobile home and mm -hmm. you have skirting that is missing, and right. any oh boy, you need to get at or it. Put you a light under there. I yeah. think a lot of people do that. Um, because that I wind went, goes up underneath mm -hmm. and will get it. And right, and also if you know, open your cabinet doors to where your sinks heat. are. Let the heat from the house kind of get in there. Um, now, the pet yeah. pipe, if you have that in your home, is not supposed to bust. It didn't yeah, say that, that it wouldn't shop. freeze. Uh -huh. It just is not supposed to bust, but it will freeze the line. So keep that, just keep your water running. It just, because you need it when you get up. Yeah. yeah. Small just thoughts from us. Yeah, yeah, be prepared. Be prepared, like start doing it while it's not raining, because when it starts raining, you won't be out in that. You know? <sighs> There's nothing uh -huh. worse than that. I think probably. If you're from the South, 95% mm -hmm. of all people have had to get out in the mud, cold, and dig up a line and repair it. Well, I'm going to tell you, I've, I've been out in the cold and the mist and rain out there trying to wrap water spigots because I do live, like, in a mobile home. I live in a double wide, and, and our water spigots, you know, kind of stand up right. on the ground. So I've been out there. I have had to wrap those things all by myself out there. I and have. That little tube right. and they sell at uh, Lowe's mm -hmm. in different places that, yeah. you know. The foam the, type yeah. stuff. Yeah. That stuff works now. It, it does. But anyway, just be prepared. There you go. You got time. So. Uh, uh, Kelly Ann Burnham tells us to have a great day. We do appreciate that. And Cliff Gardner, we want to say thank you for watching also. Yes. We'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning at 830 to bring you the latest news that's going on in and around everywhere. And again, thank you for being a part of our day with us. We, we thank you so much. We do, and we hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by...